My name is uh, Dave Robinson and uh, I uh, come from uh, Nottawa, Ontario, Canada and uh, I live uh, very close to uh, Collingwood which is a hundred miles north of Toronto for most people that don't know it's a little burg that, li that I live in. Anyway, um, I am a general contractor and uh, I led a very active life before my uh, accident and uh, as a general contractor I uh, did a lot of construction work and I also uh, did a lot of uh, sales, corporate sales and also I played in a rock band, a classic rock band and I did acting and that and uh, so what happened this uh, one night I also was very active in sports and then I played tennis and, and I would uh, you know walk the dog and the cat every day but uh, this, I have this company called Powerline Lot Painting and we were off to work one night and uh, uh, at uh, around 12.30, 1, 1 o'clock we stopped at uh, a local Tim Hortons coffee shop to get uh, coffee and what happened was um, I went out on the patio because the men that work for me smoke and we went outside and I went to sit down on the seat and my drummer's wife was actually sitting at this table so I went to sit down on the seat and I had a black coffee in my hand and what happened was there was no seat there there was just a raw piece of steel and what happened was the lower part of my back impacted with the steel I scraped my back and I pitched forward and I spilled the coffee all over my groin and I scalded my legs and I uh, uh, Within a month and a half, this abscess had grown up my spine and uh, basically uh, was on its way to kill me and it got within an inch of my brain stem and they said that if they hadn't caught it in time, I would have died. But uh, uh, I had an MRI done the very day that, like I went to numerous hospitals and they never discovered what the problem was. And so uh, it, it, this month, it took about a month and a half before they finally figured out what uh, uh, what was going on. Like I was actually going paralyzed. And then they finally did the MRI. When they did the MRI, they seen the mass on my spine. Right away they operated on me because it was threatening my life. So uh, after they did the operation, they, they before the operation, they made me sign off on a document because they knew I was going to be paralyzed. They said I'd be paralyzed and there was nothing they could do about it. I mean, I'd be paralyzed and sign here because they don't want to be sued. So uh, it was either not the operation or I would die. So I went and, of course, signed. And uh, the next morning I woke up paralyzed. I was actually paralyzed from my neck down. I had no arm movement, no hand movement, and I, had, I was having trouble breathing. So over the next year and a half, I ended up uh, being going from hospital to hospital. I contracted C. difficile in the Collingwood Hospital, uh, and I, I uh, also went. Uh, I lost 60 pounds there, and then uh, I went to a rehab hospital after that. I developed a really bad abscess on on uh, my uh, rear end. Uh, at the coccyx and what happened was uh, that took another six months to heal so all in total I was in hospital for a year and a half and before that I also went septic at one point where I almost died then so I've had uh, numerous uh, challenges with my health so uh, in May of last year uh, and I've been dealing with uh, my morning routine is, is uh, you know, I cannot uh, get myself out of bed, so I have to have PSWs get me up. I have to use a lift to lift me up out of the bed, put me into the wheelchair. I have a power wheelchair that I can go around. Um, I uh, also have to uh, use a catheter to empty my bladder. Um, I have to go to do my bowel treatments uh, three times a week, spaced out throughout the week, and you know that's always a challenge because I'm in pain uh, all, all the time uh, with the, my back I have a lot of pain with my back and uh, so the um, 
I had extreme pain after the operation at the, at the location of the surgery and it has subsided over the last uh, little while. Now this happened back in September of 2008 when I first had the operation and uh, now it is uh, June uh, 27th uh, 2012 and uh, I heard about this treatment a year ago when I was at home uh, and I seen over the TV uh, uh, spinal cord breakthrough on on the news and so I called up this was in Canada and I called up the University of uh, Winnipeg because uh, a certain doctor there had, had won an award and uh, he I asked him to call me back and I, I was so anxious to find out about this breakthrough that I ended up googling uh, spinal cord uh, breakthrough and up popped uh, these sites about stem cells and how stem cells uh, were helping people. So when I started reading uh, some of the uh, people and, and talking to them, I contacted them, um, I, I was amazed that, that the, the stem cells were actually helping people. So I, I really did a lot of uh, uh, investigation on it and I decided that this this is going to be this is what I'm going to attempt because I'm not going to take my life sitting down I'm, I was an active person before and I intend to be active again and so I uh, pursued it uh, and uh, uh, I came upon uh, Dr. Quintero's uh, website and uh, I um, after numerous discussions um, with him and and you know, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure that everything was on the up and up and it, everything checked out and, and I was impressed with his degrees and that and uh, the work that he's been doing with uh, stem cells and that. And uh, he was uh, much more reasonable than some of the other stem cell clinics. So uh, we made a, a, a deal and uh, I came down here as soon as I could and uh, Already, even now, this is even before, I already feel uh, much better and I'm having more leg movement just just prior to the injections that we're having, um, just from the uh, all the hormonal treatment they're giving me and all the naturalistic stuff they're giving me, which is uh, really helping me. So uh, already I can see a difference and, and uh, so I'm very happy that I made the decision to come down here. Yeah, um, prior to coming here, I had um, a little leg movement, and but now since I've been getting the treatment, I noticed that I have more leg movement. I can like move the legs more. Uh, this one here, uh, this one here is ahead of this one. Uh, this one here is the one that I is the real dead one. So it's I'm I'm starting to move it as you see I couldn't do that before so that's that's a, a difference already